Welcome back. Thank you for clicking. Hope everything's going well for you guys. So today I want to share with you a few little techniques that have helped me to get better at Apex Legends. So what I do is basically it's a little challenge. Whenever I lose a game of Apex Legends and I lose a lot, I go into the firing range and I practice using the worst weapon <laughs> that I that I know of, that the worst weapon that I can't use. So for me, that would be the G7 Scout and the R99. I'm really not fully used to using those weapons. So what I do is I come here, I get myself a G7 Scout and I practice with it. Well, since last season, I've been using the G7 Scout, so I'm pretty good at it. Wouldn't say I'm the best, but I know how to use it. And the reason why you want to use the worst weapon <laughs> that you know of is the fact that when you drop in Apex Legends, it's very useful to have knowledge of all the weapons and all the characters' abilities. So once you drop, you may not be in the position to get the gun that you want. So you just have to use what you have available. And it's better to know how to use a gun that you don't like than to be forced to use a gun that you don't like and you don't know how to use. So in a firefight, you're better off than the guy that has a gun that he doesn't know how to use and he doesn't like to use. You're in a way better position than him. And also, when you do find the gun that you like, it will feel so much better to switch from the shitty gun to the gun that you actually like to use. And your aim is going to be better too, because in this little training regimen here, you're still training your aim, you're training your movement, you're still practicing the things that will make you a good player, and it carries over to the weapon that you like using. Now I want to share with you another secret that I found recently. I'm not a professional player, I'm not one of those people that is great at the game. I want to get better. So what I found out recently is that you can actually activate the bots in the game. So these training dummies, that bitch over there, you can actually activate his AI so he'll run around and shoot at you. Now, I would have preferred to have an option for this, this built in, but here's what you have to do. I'm going to explain what you do first. Um, first, you got to pick Pathfinder. Then we're going to go all the way to the right. Now, there are apparently I believe four doors. I think it's four or five doors, but you want to come all the way out to the right. Then you run in, you get rid of all of your items like I did. So you empty your weapons, your shields, shouldn't have anything. You come up here and you can just easily use your grapple to get up here. And then once you're up there, you would go into that little corner, crouch and look down. After looking down, then you can change your character and you would hear like a loud ka-chunk click and that would have activated the bots. Hopefully I can go ahead and do this. So we crouch and you look all the way down. Then you change your legend. Great. Now I heard the click and that is indicating to me that the bots are moving. They're alive. They're sentient now. I would prefer to see this as a option that's in the game by default. I shouldn't have to, you know, go through all of these weird methods to activate the AI. But this is a fantastic way to learn how to play the game. Yeah, it's hard to talk while I'm shooting. So you're going to be able to learn against the AI while they're moving around. So not only are you learning movement, but you're learning how to aim. Mm, I do need to say this. The AI isn't really like super smart. But if you're a new player and you need to learn in a safe place, this is it. This is fantastic. Now, hopefully they add an option to enable this in the new update season eight, because this is a great way for you as a player, new or old, to get some practice in without having to actually like go into a live match. But that's how you go ahead and activate the AI here. Now, once you go back to the lobby, it's going to reset the AI. So you're going to have to do this every time you go into the lobby. It would be great to have this just by default in the game. So that way you can learn how to practice on your own. So this is how I've been trying to learn how to aim better. Hopefully it's helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.